y'all, this is Yolantha from Homeschool Creations, and I've been getting a lot of emails wondering how our workbox system has been working for us, and so I thought it might be fun to do a quick little video on how exactly we're using it and what we're doing with our whole system, because the truth is we're not really using workboxes as much as we're using a system that we've termed work folders. Uh, so it doesn't take up as much space as the workbox system does, and it's actually something that's a whole lot more portable. And this is something that I've shared before on my blog. I can't remember how many years we've been using it now. I want to say it's maybe been five years at least or so. Um, but I have printables on my blog that you can download. So at pretty much everything that I'm going to show you today is stuff that you can download for free on my site. They're all printables that you can download if this seems like it might be a system that would work for you and for your kids. And so I'm just going to kind of give you a little walkthrough because I know I'm a visual person and sometimes pictures, they can kind of tell me what's going on, but a video is really nice to see because then that helps me really get a little bit more of an understanding on how the system works. So I'm going to try to flip the camera around here and hopefully I'm not going to make y'all too sick. So right here, what you see, this is Caleb's desk right here and his little wall right now, our art is our art wall is missing here, but he has a little hook here and his work folder cards all hang up right here next to his desk. So every day when it's time for him to do his schoolwork, he'll come and sit down and on this little jump ring here, there are five cards all labeled separately, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on each of these cards here, I set this up at the beginning of the year when we, when I was looking at his schedule for the year and Zachary has one similar. The blue one is Zachary's, the green one is Caleb's because I color code my kids. Yes, I do. Just kind of helps keep me sane and keep track of who's doing what. Um, so anyway, you'll see that I have all the different subjects that we're doing on each of the different cards. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, Friday, no, we don't do little passports twice and we don't do just the jar. Friday is our one of our bigger co-op days. So Fridays we don't have really anything to do other than co-op and Tuesdays you might notice on our schedules are a little bit they have a few fewer subjects as well and that's because Tuesday afternoons we have a smaller co-op that we do um, that we do every Tuesday afternoon so that kind of ties in with that so anyway for each of the subjects that Caleb does he has a card that goes along with it and as soon as he is done with that subject he can take the card off and you'll see that there's the there's a little dot of velcro here and on the one side here there's a little the opposite side of velcro there and then on the front of the card you might notice the other little dot of velcro there so when he's done what he does is he flips the card over like that and that shows that that subject is done so for him this is a really good visual and these are the kind of the order that I want him to go through his subjects because We've kind of timed it out as far as math time goes and um, all of that works out who has the computer when so this is kind of the the best way that we found to go through so Caleb does math first then Zachary does math and then McKenna does math and that way everybody gets a chance to use the computer as they need it um, so anyway these are the subjects and as he finishes his subjects he flips over the card and one of the nice things that I like about it is when these are hanging up on the wall, like when they're all on their jump ring and they're hanging up on that little hook there, I can look over at any point too during, um, during the morning and see what subjects the kids still need to work on and maybe say a child is hemming and hawing at something and they're taking a little bit longer than you know they should be I can ask them if they've actually done it if they need to flip over a card or they need to get working so it's good for me to kind of get a visual on where they are in their day especially if I'm working with other kids and it's and for some of our kids that are very visual learners this has been really good um, for them to visually have a schedule to see this is what I need to accomplish today and what I need to get done so to go along with this I mentioned the work folders versus the work boxes and Caleb's desk is kind of set up here. You can see he's got his little bulletin boards. He has a little bin here, and this is where all of his completed paperwork goes for the week. And then Caleb has two drawers, 
And McKenna used to have two drawers as well. She shares the desk over here next to Caleb, if you can see that. Um, it, but she took her drawers out and decided instead to put the bulk of her textbooks there. So these are just Ikea Trofast systems. They're some of the standing shelves there that they have. Um, these, I can't remember where I got it. It was like from teaching resources or something like that. There was like a set of 12 of them that I got for books and everything. But anyway, in Caleb's drawers, he has some of the books that he needs, like his main textbooks that we're using, um, multiple rulers there. And then in this drawer here, he has his folder. And this folder is something that I picked up at Walmart, but I'm also going to make sure that I link to some that um, I found on Amazon. These have been really sturdy pocket folders. They're a really heavy duty plastic and I ended up actually going to Staples and getting another comb binding, like a larger one to put on it. So you'll notice it doesn't go all the way down to the end. Um, I got larger comb binding though because the one that came with it was a really small one. And I ended up taking apart two of these and adding and putting two of them together, if that makes sense. So I took the pages because it may have only come with three pockets inside and I wanted a few more pockets than that. So basically what happens is you'll notice that on these cards here, there's a picture. And like I mentioned before, these printables, these grids are on my website for you to download. I have some that are color coded. I have some that are white, so they're, they're plain or whatever. So you can print them off on whatever color cardstock you want to, or you can just leave them white. And I do have some subject cards on there as well, but they're more generic subject cards. You'll notice that mine are more specific to the curriculum that we use. And I can give you guys the measurements in the blog post to let you know like what size these squares are if you want to make them. It would be really simple to do it. I just made like a grid. Um, and then dropped in, I googled a picture of the subject that we were doing and then this font right here is the font, it's called Love You Like a Sister, it's a free font download. And so I downloaded um, that and made these specific to our curriculum. And as much as I would love to share the ones that are specific to, for you know, like these like Daily Grams or Growing with Grammar or the All About Reading, because these images are copyrighted, I cannot share them. So that's why I would recommend just going to Google Images and making your own for your own personal use. Um, but anyway, so that kind of gives you a quick idea. So you'll see on the cards that it'll say history. So Caleb will know that if he needs to do his history, he'll come over here and look, and here's his history pocket. And this is just the same type of card. These are a little bit bigger, but this one stays on here permanently. And what I do at the beginning of the week is I put all of the papers that he's going to need. This is at the end of the week right now. So these are some of the ones that he was working on. These are the comic strip things that we've been using for history. Um, Bible pocket. We, I don't have anything in there for this. Like it's the end of the week again. We have one for math. Obviously this is an older math thing, but he knows what it is. So his math CD-ROMs are in there. And then handwriting. This is his handwriting page for the week. Um, grammar pages would go in here, all of his daily gram pages for the week, and I put all of them in that they're going to need, like the four to five pages that they'll need for that week. I just slide everything in here, and then the kids can work on them. And some of our kids like to work ahead. They want to do two pages a day, so when they are done with their daily grams for the week, they can flip over all their cards. They can put all their stuff in their finish box, and I will go over it and review it with them. Um, but that just kind of gives you a, a quick little look. So here's science. So his science booklet is in here from Nancy Larson. Um, spelling, we have one of the booklets that we use is the Unlocking the Key to Silent E. So that's in here. And then some of his writing papers are in here. And then also one of the books that we're reading right now together too. So all of these are in this little pocket folder thing. Um, but not much bigger than... A sheet of paper and it's a little bit thicker and a little bit more when there's some more papers in it but this has been really handy because for the most part everything that he needs for the week is in here so if we're traveling or going somewhere he can just pick up this and throw this in a bag and we have it um, so anyway we have this it goes again all the way Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday they just flip the cards over when they're done these are really small little velcro dots I want to say that they were about five-eighths of an inch or so and I'll make sure that the link is in the blog post but I ended up buying this velcro in bulk because we use so much of it 
and you can see that I printed off quite a few so when we had history I printed off five or six history cards because I needed one for the pocket and then I also needed the four or five for the week but once I got all the printing and I laminated the cards I printed it off on cardstock laminated it and then put the velcro on it once I got it done these are here for the year and the many of these cards that you see um, these are ones that we've had almost the entire time that we have been that we've been homeschooling and using this system so they have lasted us over the years for however many years it is that we've been using it I'm sorry I can't remember um, but they've lasted us that whole time and like I said I will make sure that I include some more information I was going to pull out a ruler here really quick so you can kind of see how big the cards are the cards are just a little bit less if you can see that um, they're a little bit less than one and three quarter inches so just a little bit over one and a half like between one and a half and one and three quarters inches in diameter um, and width and height and so that's all I did is just created a little square grid with all the different cards and everything and all the different subjects. And so you're more than welcome to download the ones that I have and the grids that I have um, and use them with your family if you think this is something that would work for you. But I can tell you that this has been a huge, huge help um, in our homeschool day because when, when we had initially looked at the work boxes, like I said, this is where all of our work is for the most part. Um, for the week this in Caleb's been over here. He does have a few like his growing with grammar book and We have a few other teachers manuals that I have that sit at my desk But for the most part all of his work is contained in here Zachary does have a few other books and McKenna's books are obviously at a different point now, too, but she's not really using her System as much she wanted to use a planner this year And so we're kind of moving more into that independent work with her so it does take up a lot less space than um, the work box system did for us and that was the main thing because initially we had four kids that were going to be going on the work box system and we just did not have the room to do that so anyway I hope this has been a little bit of a help to you feel free to leave a comment and ask any questions you have in the in the comments today or or whatever on the video and I would be happy to answer them for you so thanks so much